Under the kitchen sink can be a very scary area for some of us. It's supposed to be a place to house my tools and my cleaning supplies, but mine was starting to look like the set of a horror film. I am using my Cricut Joy today and a few items I picked up at the container store to fix this problem area of my kitchen. We are gonna do some decluttering, some organizing, and some upgrading. So if you want some inspiration to clean out this area of your home and give it new life, make sure to watch today's video. This space is going to be transformed, unrecognizable. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Carla, and I make videos about decluttering and organizing and simplifying my life. What's back there? I don't know. I'm super excited for today's project. I am doing under the kitchen sink, which really has become a very shady, dirty secret in my home. Things have spilled over and created a big old mess. I think there was at one point a water leak down there and just, it looks dark, dreary, and scary. Today I am giving it a little makeover with some help from Cricut and the container store. And so I'm really excited to just make this be a more functional and organized space in my house because this is where my tools are supposed to live and my cleaning products. And I've noticed that more and more I'm leaving my cleaning products out. Like I'll put them up on the windowsill, I'll leave them out on the countertop. And it's because the under sink area has been so messy and disorganized. I'm going to make it so that everything in the kitchen can safely stay under the sink. No nightmares, no horror stories happening underneath there. It's just gonna be a very cool, chill, nice, organized space. Okay, man? All right, let's do this. Now I've lived in my apartment for eight years and I can't remember the last time that I gave this specific spot a makeover. I did a huge declutter on my kitchen, but a lot of the things I just put back into the cabinets, the things that I'm keeping and I didn't take the time to organize them. My landlord is the one who put this mesh, I don't know what it's called, this mesh material on top of the tile kind of just over half of the tiles. So I've just decided to take that out, clear the decks, give it a complete clear, fresh start. That's the tile that's on my kitchen floor and that's the tile that's inside the cabinet. I'm just gonna switch that out and make a few small minor adjustments. I am the world's worst DIY person. I just don't have patience to do a really good job, but I feel like this is pretty simple. It's just peel and stick. Probably would be better if I wiped the surface down first, but not today, honey, not today. Let's see, okay, we're just sliding it to the back. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's under the sink. And because I'm gonna be putting things on top of it, so. I had bought this because I thought about putting it on my kitchen floor. Let me know what you think of this in the comment if you think this would look nice as a tile pattern in my actual kitchen. I'm kind of thinking it would be nice. I wasn't sure if I liked it at first. But now, I kind of do. Ooh, it already looks nice. It already looks a trillion times better in here. Wow. Oh, I'm feeling inspired. Now it's time for me to go through the items that have been hanging out under the kitchen sink. I am going to take everything out of the plastic bins and just sort through them, do some decluttering, do some categorizing. I had a paint spill in here, so a few of the items have been destroyed. But yeah, this is my chance to actually go through and see what have I got, what am I working with. I went to the container store and I picked up a few organizational products to make this space really functional and to maximize that small space. I got this double drawer wire pullout for organizing. I got a couple of these bins that have dividers. 
I also got this pull-out drawer that I'm gonna use as a toolbox and this acrylic caddy that I am going to personalize. I'm going to use this for my cleaning products and I like it because it has a handle so I can just take it out when I do my cleaning routine. And this here is my Cricut Joy. Cricut Joy helps me get organized by creating beautiful labels for my container store products. Cricut is a smart cutting machine that allows you to create personalized projects with hundreds of materials. It works with software called Design Space that comes free with your machine. This is where you can create your project and browse from hundreds of images and fonts. Once you've created your design, Design Space will send it to your machine to cut. Let me show you what I'm gonna be creating today. I am going to have some fun with this project and really be creative and use my own unique style. That's what's fun about doing something with Cricut is that you're not having to make like generic labels. So I'm gonna use this fun color. It's sort of like this neon yellow. It's called tennis ball. I think it will look really cute. And then I'm gonna pick a fun font. I think I'm gonna do an old English font. We just had the Super Bowl here in Los Angeles and the LA Rams won and there's a lot of LA pride going on right now and I just feel so happy and proud of my city and um, the old English font really brings me back to junior high and high school and we had a couple of really great artists on the halftime show, All, not all, but a lot of them from Los Angeles. I'm inspired. Oh, how cute is that? That's adorable. Move over to design space. Cleaning, caddy. It's super easy to use design space. You can curve the letters. This time I'm going to keep them straight, but I am going to spread the letters apart a little bit. I went a little crazy and got a bunch of different colors. Like I got this bright orange. I got this really pretty purple. I like color guys, I like it. Click make it, load material into machine. So let's see, okay, click go. We ready, we ready. Show you guys. Oh my God, that is so cute. That is so cute. You guys, you guys. <laughs> that was freaking adorable. Okay, let me show you how I'm transferring it. The Cricut Joy is so incredibly easy to use. I've already created those labels, took me a few minutes, and now I'm just getting ready to transfer this is the process that you go through to take the lettering and get it moved on to whatever item you want to label in your home. So right now I'm just taking out the parts of the lettering in the middle before I use the transfer tape. This is kind of one of my favorite parts because I get to feel like I'm a surgeon doing an operation. Put my transfer tape onto the clear acrylic and now I'm just gonna peel off the transfer tape. What? I'm literally dead right now. It's so cute. <laughs> I mean, that's just too adorable. It's living out my California dreams. Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg and Dog. I mean, I'm feeling so cool with this. This is adorable. I went back into design space to create a few more labels. I made this baking soda with this very pale pink lettering. And then I also made one for my sponges. You just kind of get hooked in. It's a really fun creative process. I also made a bright orange uh, with a really cool font to go on my toolbox. Look how cool that looks. Okay, here's my new toolbox, cute. And my cleaning caddy. So I've built this from Container Store. 
I love the slide out drawer concept. I put all my cleaning supplies over here and then I'm gonna fill this with the cleaning stuff and fill this with all of these tools. This is the stuff that I'm getting rid of. Hi, Samson. So these um, things got ruined with paint, dried paint. This was from when I was giving Samson allergy shots at home. So I will dispose of this at his vet. And this is just like general rubbish. Okay, these things I am holding on to my wallpaper. So trash, tools, cleaning stuff. And these are the new organizational tools. So let's start putting things together so we can fill this area down here. Already so happy with how that looks though, wow. It look good, it look real good. We've said our goodbyes, but we won't go home just yet. You've got your head down, just like when we first met. I can't believe it's ending. Why did this is stuff I don't access regularly, so it doesn't need to be like the most organized. I just need a space where all of it goes. But I've got my rolling brush, my dry spackle, whatever the heck that's called. I've got some gold spray paint that I used for the light fixture in my room. A grout filler. Oh, where's my grout pen? Grout pen. Hammer, screwdrivers, power drill. Um, that's what I call this, power drill. Uh, measuring tapes. Uh, I think that's it. I think that's it. Okay. Let's put it under the sink. Under the sink. Let's fill up the cleaning caddy. Definitely use my all purpose cleaner and my glass mirror cleaner. And then baking soda. Okay, I'm we'll going do purpose cleaner again. Baking soda. Labeled with the pretty toy. stuff I'll put in the two-tier sliding drawer. Yeah. Let's put my extra dish soap, extra hand soap. Let's do the sponges. Cute. Do my extra dish brushes up here. Always good to have these. Extra bottle brush. Yeah. Okay, and these I'll put on top, yeah. everything fit and you'll see that with the double wire unit i had to place it a little left of center because of that giant pipe under the sink but it fits and the drawers pull out and that was the main thing it can be kind of tricky with under the sink depending on what your i guess drainage system looks like but i'm glad that i was able to go vertical and use this two-tier sliding drawer and to use this pull-out drawer for my tools so I don't have to lift anything off on top and they're, they're safe, they're protected. And then with the cleaning caddy, I can just pull it out when I'm ready to do some cleaning. 
So let's look at some before and afters. I'm really pleased with it, you guys. I can't wait to hear what you think in the comments. I love making over little interior spaces. If you've seen my other videos, I did a makeover on a drawer of mine and I turned it into a tea drawer. And now to have done this with, with under the kitchen sink, it's these little things that just really make you smile. And you can see such a difference. Like to go from that dreariness to this really nice, bright, pretty, functional, organized space. Oh, I'm just delighted. I'm really happy with how things are coming together in my home. And yeah, I feel really good about it. So thank you for watching this week's video. See you soon, bye.